Welcome back, everybody, to Oracle. Next Sunday, Mill Valley will host its annual Tipsy Race. And one Bay Area athlete is going to give that race a shot because his family gave him a shot. The seven-mile Dipsy course begins with a flight of stairs. It's a fitting start for Patrick Mahoney, who views the race as another step in his recovery process. <laughs> and so is this, Mahoney's infant son, Oliver, a child he and his wife Anne consider to be a miracle, given the circumstances. It's nice to have a moment in life that's, like, amazing, completely unrelated to the accident. The accident happened nearly seven years ago in New Hampshire, a car versus bicycle nightmare that left Mahoney in a coma. Today, he's a residential counselor here in San Francisco, working on behalf of the mentally ill. It's a career path that hits relatively close to home. I think a big part of the job of counselor is to empathize with people. Uh, so it's a lot easier to empathize with someone when you know what they've gone through. You can tell Patrick's been through turmoil, all right. You listen to his speech or you catch his wandering gaze. Prior to the accident, he was an elite runner at Tufts University and an aspiring poet. He was just a super active guy. I mean, you cannot, he had two different jobs. He was running constantly. He was biking constantly. He made me fall in love with biking. All that gone in an instant when he hopped on his bike one October evening in New England. A little over halfway from that ride home, I was hit by a car. Uh, and thrown probably, I don't know, 45 or 50 feet forward. Mahoney was wearing his helmet, but the force of the blow to the front of his head caused a traumatic brain injury, so traumatic, and was preparing to say goodbye. We for sure thought that that was that, that Patrick was going to pass away, and we were preparing for that. I was in a complete state of shock. I mean, I was just crying and devastated, like I could barely function. I was just like trying to find the things that I, uh, pictures of him that I wanted to hold on to. While his family waited and wondered, doctors at Massachusetts General Hospital were trying to give Patrick a chance. While I was in MGH, had uh, the front, I don't know, portion of my skull removed, placed in a freezer to be preserved, and basically my brain had swollen. So the skull needed to come off and out to allow that swelling to happen. And I still have a scar you see it more when i'm tired i can't shave my head because it's kind of like that way but flesh scars are insignificant compared to the scars his family still harbors today they were faced with the difficult decision of taking him off life support the expense of keeping people alive is enormous the insurance company and the hospital it's in their best interest to you know turn over that bed as quickly as possible and that's just the reality of it they have to make that decision like do, they want, do you want us to continue to treat your son or just let him go? Um, which is obviously a difficult decision, but again, I'm lucky that they went ahead with it and, you know, gave me a chance. Just two days after the hospital questioned whether they could sustain his life, Patrick began to wake up. When he started to respond to commands was he would give a thumbs up with his right hand because his left side was still pretty much paralyzed. He would give a thumbs up and he would wink. Good. And so began the long process of rehabilitation and learning everything over again. Walking eventually led to running at a familiar place, the track. I was thinking, wow, like 400 meters, I did that. That was quick. I was looking online and I read, actually, that track is only 370 meters. So, like, <laughs> He met every challenge we set for him. There have been times where I'm like, are you really going to run the Dipsy? You know, is that really what you're going to do right now? Does that seem like a great idea like but Patrick just continually blows my mind the idea to run the grueling dipsy race was presented by a family friend as a way for Patrick to jump into normalcy he's been training for the day ever since I'd be satisfied with complete race where I'm actually like exhausted safe but exhausted at the finish but in Patrick's life finishing the race only represents the bottom of the dipsy stairs the top isn't very far away. I think that this is one step on his way to getting back to where he was before, before his brain injury and feeling um, like, a whole, like a whole person again. Patrick Mahoney sent a letter to the driver of the car that hit him. He never heard back. As for that ruined bicycle frame, Patrick turned it into a stool that he keeps in his Oakland backyard. We're back to wrap it up from Oracle in just a moment.